Hey guys, Justin here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Square Enix Play Arts Kai Poison Ivy from Batman Arkham City, the video game. Um, this is number six in this particular line of the DC uh, figures from the Arkham games. Now on the front, we got this really nice artwork of Poison Ivy here in all black and white except for her hair, which is red, and a little bit of um, vines on her legs, which is green, which I really like that. It looked really good to me. Now, if you come around to the sides, they're nice and plain and white, except for this side, which is black. Um, on the back, it's got a nice little uh, picture of Poison Ivy here with Harley Quinn there, some Arkham City little, like, posters, I guess you could say. Um, and then on the little details over here is all in Japanese, so unfortunately we can't really read that. And since this is number six, it tells you that number five is the Harley Quinn figure. But um, it's a very nice package, very simple, but it looks very good in my opinion. And it's also got this um, Velcroed flap that you can open up and actually look in and see the figure herself. Along with another very nice picture and a, look, a little backstory on Poison Ivy herself. Which, it's really nice. It looks really good. And one thing I really like about the Play Arts Kai um, line is all their pictures of these is pictures of actual um, figures. They're not artwork or anything. It's like if you get really close up, look, right here, you can see the separation of two pieces on the figure itself. Alright, now, let's go ahead and um, open this up and get her out. All right, now we got all this out of the box. First thing we get is the instructions, which are printed directly on this piece of uh, cardboard, which houses the um, stand, which is the same exact stand you get in almost every Play Arts Kai figure. Very generic and basic. And then this side goes over how you assemble the stand. This side goes over uh, the interchangeable hands, some of the accessories, and this pretty neat little uh, stand that uh, it comes with Get out of the way and as far as the accessories like I said she does come with a little stand so move these out of the way which is very nice it comes in a few pieces you get a section here and here so this whole vine is three separate pieces so it can move and rotate but the directions say that you should have her left leg going down in it, which it does have a little indent right in there for her uh, foot, right there, that little dark area. Her foot should go there while this comes up and kind of uh, spirals around. I don't know, I haven't exactly tried it yet. But um, as you can see, it's got some very nice details in it between the poison flower that's open the closed bud up top and the white and blue flowers here it's a very nice piece with some very very nice paint and colors it's a wonderful piece to me and then the other two accessories you get besides the relaxed hands that are on her are these two kind of uh, swinging hands which, they're a good sculpt. I wish the color was a little bit better. It's kind of just two shades of uh, the green. And it's, it's okay, but I just wish the paint was a little bit... Like, I would have loved if all the vines on her body were a darker green. Like, you can see the vines on the top of her hand right there. But uh, these work with uh, these accessories, which... This part is going to spiral around her arm, and then you'd have one of these hands kind of holding this, I don't know if I want to call it a whip or what, but it'll be holding it onto it like that. And yeah, and then to get to the actual like whip part, it's got the nice spiral right here that does go around her arms. And then you come down and get all these uh, thorns and, and some really nice like shading with the black and whatnot in it. And then the tip, 
you got this flower that almost looks like it's trying to be made into a, a spear. Which is very cool, but I, I don't know. I, I think there could be a little bit better, because if you look right here, you got a, a hole there, two holes there, another two, and then another one right there. And I, I have, <coughs> I'm sorry, I have no idea what those holes are actually meant for, because they're in the same exact places on both of them. Alright, let's get to the actual figure herself. Now, I really do like the way this figure looks. I think it looks absolutely amazing, down from the sculpt to the face, to her hair, down to all these intricate vines that cover her whole body. Uh... I absolutely love it. The only thing I wish I could change is like maybe have these vines a slightly darker color than the rest of the figure so that way they kind of uh, stand out and pop a little more. But besides that, I'm absolutely loving the detail on Sculpt from the little buckles in her jacket here to her hair which has really nice paint uh, just to give it like the darker red in certain areas. Her jacket looks absolutely amazing, which is eh, pretty hard plastic material, not very flexible. Um, it's just all in all absolutely amazing. Uh, get a little closer. The, her eyes really pop. I absolutely love that. And I don't know, just the way it, the whole figure looks to me is a very well done um, job. All right, now let's get to the um, articulation on the figure, which she's got some pretty decent articulation. First off with the head, you can go down that far to the sides about that far. You can rotate it almost 90 degrees, but her hair is going to hit uh, the top of her shoulder as the hair is a solid, rigid piece. And because the hair hitting her back, you can only look her up about that far. It's fairly decent. And then... Going on to the shoulders, you have this kind of like butterfly valve right here so the arm can pull out that far, in and out, and then of course you can do a full 360 on that. You can lift out uh, about that far with it, and then you do have an upper uh, bicep swivel right here. The whole bottom cuff of her uh, sleeve does rotate. And then with the elbows, they, it is just the normal ball joint, but it does swivel on the top and bottom. So you can bend it up a little past 90 degrees, a little bit. And then on her wrist is a standard ball joint as well. So you can move it down and up. And it's a little difficult that they are like a ratcheting um. Uh, ball joint but they do work very nicely it just kind of takes a little bit of a persuasion to get them to move and then for the upper body right up there it I don't know it feels like a double ball joint and you can go back that far it's front eh, not too far but a little bit of side to side you can rotate her at that point and then there's another point in her waist, which this whole crotch piece is rubber, so it does bend and get out of the way. So you can get down like that to get a really decent ab crunch out of her. And back up, so you can come up about that far. But you will have to worry about this piece moving out of the way and revealing some of the gaps. If you do do that, um, side to side on that bottom one is pretty decent. And you do can, you can rotate, but again, if you do rotate it, you are gonna get a gap that p comes out if you rotate it too much. All right, now for the legs, really nice ratcheting joints in there. You can get almost a full split out of her, and then you can go forward about yeah about 90 degrees and backwards not that much backwards and if you go too far back same with the uh, waist you are going to get a little bit of a gap showing knees has got a nice double joint so you can get a 180 bend out of that 
which is very nice but my only problem is when you have it fully extended you can see the top of some of the joints which is not very desirable in my opinion same thing with the bottom right here and lastly we have the feet which are on another ball joint that swivel at the top and bottom and you can do full 360 and lift up that far and down that far and you can get an ankle rocker out of her but it takes a little bit of a maneuvering but once you do get that in the right position you can get a fairly decent ankle rock get that back in place All right. and that's it for the articulation which is a lot better than some of the hot toys I have which cost way more than her which a little unfortunate but overall I'd give this a solid uh, 8 out of 10 just because when you do maneuver her in some areas it does reveal some undesirable gaps which I know a lot of people aren't wouldn't be happy with um and like I said I do wish the vines across her body were done up in a little bit darker of a color than the rest of her body so that way they could pop and be more distinguishable than the rest of her kind of like how these leaves are maybe not have as dark as the leaves have the keep the leaves this dark green but then have the rest of these vines a slightly lighter green that's still darker than the rest of her skin so that way they really pop out from a distance because it's some great detail which is a shame to me because you kind of got to get up close to it in order to see some of those details all right now after a little messing around I was able to get her pose up pretty decently and her little base and it's really hard to get both feet on the ground just because the base does raise the left leg up some so I just kind of copied the box art and how they had it displayed and have her kind of just balancing on one leg with the other leg lifted up kind of in um I don't, I don't know if I'd call it a seductive pose but definitely a a signature poison ivy pose which looks really nice it's just it takes a minute to get her balanced up but um definitely worth the time getting her balanced and posed upright because it is a little tricky balancing on one foot inside this base which you have this vine that wraps around her leg if I get this arm out of the way and scoot closer you can actually here you can actually see it comes and wraps around her leg and the, when you put the foot in the base it, it plugs in and it's not going anywhere it's definitely in there um, I don't know it to each their own I mean if you want to use the base you can but you're gonna have a really hard time trying to get two feet on the ground just because it does raise this left foot up higher so when you have them um, trying to get this right leg on the ground it's it, it doesn't reach down far enough but um I mean if you can figure out that little balancing point you can achieve some really nice poses I mean I don't know, I'm not that creative when it comes to posing my figures and whatnot, so I just copied the box art, which was, it took me maybe four or five minutes to do so. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking I may, I don't know, try to pose it up with one of these vine whips, maybe have it going straight up or have her arm going out, like, and have this extending so it's kind of pointing out like that. Not quite sure yet, um, but yeah, it's definitely a good figure, I mean, for the price, I paid when I bought it, it was definitely worth it, but um, yeah. Alright guys, please leave a comment, tell me if there's anything I can do better, or any suggestions, or any feedback would be muchly appreciated, and don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe. Alright, bye.